Hey guys! So today I am here with a new video, this time with a book review. So as you guys know, this is no nonfiction November and I've been reading a lot of nonfiction this month and I wanted to talk about one of the books that I recently read and it's crazy because this wasn't even a book that was on my nonfiction TBR. I actually picked this book at blue bicycle books in charleston i was not there for y'all fest i was actually there the weekend before y'all fest visiting my sister she goes to medical school in charleston so i was like i can't go for y'all fest so i might as well just stop at this bookstore and see what's up and i didn't really find anything that i was really intrigued about until i found this book and it's called my dyslexia by philip schultz and it's a little hard to read it on the screen i'm sorry about that but the dyslexia just popped out at me and drew me into this book because i do have dyslexia and it was never it's never been like medically diagnosed like i've never been kept, like diagnosed by a doctor with this condition but I know it's something that I faced in school when I was in elementary school I had a lot of difficulties with reading and I was struggling like for the longest I didn't know the difference between the letter B and D and I still struggle with that when I get really nervous or when I'm stressed out I flip those two a lot I can't tell my left from my right at all and I just wanted, I know that that's something I've faced. My mother says that's definitely something you've had and she also says that she had dyslexia but she was growing up during a time where dyslexia wasn't really a thing and that's kind of what he talks about in this book. He's a, so let me get into what this book is really about. This book is Philip Schultz. He's a Pulitzer Prize winner for his poetry. He basically came out as being dyslexic um, quite a while ago. This was published in 2011, I believe, so it's been a while, but he f discovered that he was dyslexic after, after his son was um, diagnosed with a learning disorder. And he was like, hey, that's very similar to what I was experiencing as a child. I probably have dyslexia and that's kind of like the same way I figured out I had dyslexia my mom just she was facing a lot of those things during school and then she came across the term dyslexia and then when she had me she noticed that I faced some of the similar issues and learning disabilities and she was like yeah you probably have dyslexia so I don't really know a ton about it and this book just really drew me in because I wanted to see another writer's experience with dyslexia. So yeah, that's kind of what drew me to the story. So since he's a poet, this writing is very lyrical and I really think his writing style is beautiful. It's a really short book. It's really only like 130 pages long, but it packs a really great story. He begins the book off kind of in the present, talking about how he started, he basically came out to the public with having dyslexia and he became like this role model for students and other students that had dyslexia and his insecurities and anxiety about writing about this condition and always feeling not better or not as good as other people and it just really the ideas and thoughts just really stuck with me even though he was a person that really struggled with all these issues he was bullied a lot in school because these students and also the teachers just thought of him as being dumb or incapable of learning or just not motivated enough and he deals with a lot of the same issues that a lot of children with learning disabilities deal with but he still felt very insecure about being the quote unquote like spokesperson for dyslexia and he talks about a lot of that anxiety and a lot of the anxiety about actually writing a memoir about it and then he goes into more detail about his childhood how he was bullied in school how he had to have a tutor for a long period of time and he didn't really learn how to read until he was a much older 
and even how he still struggles with reading now and how it's a task that requires a lot of like willpower and determination to get through and I totally understand that. That's why I think I'm a much slower reader is because it takes a lot of work for me to read and to really fully understand the concepts that I'm reading. So I, I appreciate that in the book as well. And it talks about him just always running away from these issues and I think one of the biggest pieces of the story I would say it's kind of like each chapter is like it's like a, a short essay collection but each chapter kind of follows like a different theme and some of the chapters follow similar themes of the previous chapter but each chapter kind of stands alone on its own and one of the sections of this book that really stuck with me was his anxiety about his faith. Philip Schultz is Jewish. He never learned Hebrew because of his learning disability. He was never able to really grasp the Hebrew language and that's something that he's kind of struggled with. Can he still be a devout Jewish person and not know Hebrew and I just love those chapters where he he battles with that and how even though it's embarrassing to go to temple and be the only one that doesn't understand what's being described it's worse for him not to go I get that like because a lot of for me writing is something that's very difficult for me to do while I know all writers really struggle through the process I think it's particularly difficult for me I don't really get any joy out of the writing process necessarily um, until I get into that mood where I'm not conscious of what I'm doing. Yeah, so I think the, f the understanding of like, even though writing and reading is like a real struggle for me, it's worse when I don't do it. So I get that feeling that he has the same with Judaism and I get that the f his faith is really important to him. And I really liked that aspect of the book. I think that he's just, it's just amazing because he talks about how he struggles to talk to people and how he, the, a lot of the story is centered around this desire to be alone. And I really connected with that aspect of the story as well. And there's this quote that I think is just really beautiful that I wanna read. And this is when he's kind of realizing why he likes to be alone is because he's not, burdened by the expectations of others and what they want him to be and I think this quote is just beautiful. Now I understand why I felt truly comfortable and safe only when I was alone with no one asking anything of me that I couldn't do. Why to this day I bite my nails, pick at myself, and jump at loud noises, sigh constantly, and go blank when confronted with other people's expectations and why when starting this book I became depressed and couldn't write for months couldn't even think about my subject without wanting to flee a crime scene. These are the lines that really stuck with me because I could relate to that very much. In addition to being dyslexic, I'm a shy person and I'm naturally an introvert, but I'm also very shy and very anxious in social interactions because I'm always afraid I'm going to mess up and say something incorrectly or struggle to find a common word that should come up easily. So I know that's like an issue that I have and I prefer rather to just be alone and not have to deal with that those interactions because I know they're going to be awkward and weird and embarrassing on my part and most likely embarrassing on the other person's part as well. And I just, that's just, it just really, I could just really relate to that. So I just think this book is really amazing. Even if you don't have dyslexia, if you're interested in being a writer, I think this book would be valuable for you to read. Or even if you have a different learning disorder other than dyslexia, I think you would find some value in this book. It's really just beautiful and I love how personal he took the story. It doesn't, if you're looking for something that really goes into what dyslexia is and all of the more 
medical side of it this does not really go into that it's purely a memoir about his personal experiences with dyslexia as a child and coming to terms with it as an adult so really i just absolutely enjoyed this book it's probably one of the books that are gonna is gonna stick with me for a very long time I finished it quite early in November and it's still something I think about constantly and like wow this is why I am the way I am and I just need to learn to accept that and just figure out ways to do things on my own pace in my own way so I think there's a lot to learn from this book and there's just the beauty in the writing was just a joy to read. So if you have read My Dyslexia, please let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and if this book also really connected with you. If you're interested in reading it, please let me know that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will be back soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!